y'all it's hope here at crafty hope and welcome i'm continuing to share with you the making of this snippet roll that is part of my 100 day project which i'm calling my not precious project because i'm trying to use items in my stash that i had previously deemed as too precious to be used in this case it's a bunch of papers and other elements that i really was uh over treasuring and I've decided to make it into a snippet roll. So some of these are handwritten papers and uh, rust dyed papers and eco printed papers and all kinds of fun things. So this is part two of my snippet roll. If you want to see part one, I will put that a link up in the upper right corner for you and referring to that. Um, a couple things that I want to tell you about this role and what my process was today. So this part of my process, I am just doing like collage on top of the initial paper roll that I made using those not precious papers. And I am only using a and a new glue stick, a glue stick in general, basically because I didn't want to get anything sticky on top of it as I'm trying to roll it up. So if anything was on top, that would delay my process. And I wanted to work through this in the one day. This was day 22 of the 100 day project. And I wanted to get all of my collage down in one day. So I knew that I needed to kind of just work quickly. Now I had a couple like rules for myself besides using the glue stick. One was I was only going to use some scraps from I've got a bin of scraps and I'm kind of just pulling stuff from there. Also, um, I'm, I'm using some washi tapes as well because they're kind of lightweight. I didn't want to weigh this down too much with papers. So I'm really sticking to um Keeping some of the details, like you can see in this paper here, I really like the handwriting on that left side. So I'm putting a lot of my collage over on the right side, trying to keep the parts that I liked. Because this is really, when it comes to using this snippet roll, I, I don't need it to be heavy or bulky or anything like that. It just needs to work. Oh, I, I will tell you right here what I'm putting down are some vellum paper dots y'all the wash the the glue stick is not great for adhering these and they pop off later so eh, my bad um not a big deal okay what else do i need to tell you for the snippet roll in general i'm trying to stick to neutrals because i don't know where or how i'm going to add this into my work later so i felt like sticking to kind of a palette of neutrals was really a good way or at least colors that I know I use in my work quite a bit so for my collage it's almost exclusively going to be neutrals what else um there are a couple of thin papers that I have in this snippet roll there's some Japanese washi which is a like a paper it's a very thin paper and those papers, I've also got, I think, some deli paper in here that was rust dyed. And those papers in particular, I'm going to add a bit more collage to, to really kind of thicken them up and give them more stability. The same holds true for where my joints are, because the only thing holding these papers together at this point is washi tape. And as we all know, it is a low tack tape so I am making sure that I'm you know there's a little bit of some other tape that I'm putting down I'm going to make sure I collage other papers over the top of it and that's just going to reinforce my joint some now, I'm not worried about at all about the back side of this this is just about the front side the side that I'm rolling up um, in a second here the the end of the snippet roll is going to start to get a little long i do have cats i didn't want it trailing onto the floor for the cats to like come at so i'll start rolling it around and cinching it with a um a clothespin you'll see that here in a bit so i think that's everything um i stuck to neutrals i used a glue stick i'm only using scraps and washies i double reinforced the thin papers and the joints and i tried to keep as many of the details in this that i liked um i did have a question about if it was only the washi that i used to hold those together so i've already said that 
you know, I, um, I'm trying to go over the washi. I had fully intended to run this through with the sewing machine and give it those details, but y'all, I just kind of forgot. I mean, there are parts in later, there are, I think, at least two more parts to this video, to this series for the snippet roll. There may be more. I don't know yet. We'll see how these videos break up. Um, but for the most part, um, yeah, I think it's going to be four videos. Um, but, you know, some of the things I thought I would do, I didn't do. But that means I get to do them later. Now, here's that Japanese washi that I've got there. And I don't know if you can see how thin it is. But, yeah, I mean, it's a fairly sturdy paper. But I, yeah, I wanted to make sure it had a little more bulk to it. Okay, guys, that is going to be it. I think I'm going to just let y'all watch the rest of this process and um, put some music here. And if you have any questions or anything, please don't hesitate to let me know. Make sure you like and subscribe and all those fun things that help me out and help my channel out and help us grow this community. So I will, um, I will see y'all in the next video. There's more of this snippet roll to come. Thanks for watching y'all.